Welcome to Scoop Canada, your most trusted source for authentic news on Canadian politics. Recently, Conservative Member of Parliament Larry Brock posted a message on his ex account stating that the story behind the Green Slush Fund would soon be out to the public. According to him, it would be a great relief for the public to know the truth behind the Liberal government's misuse of their tax money. Larry Brock has played a pivotal role in bringing these issues to light. Through a series of tweets and public statements, he highlighted irregularities in the fund's management. For instance, one of Brock's tweets emphasized the need for transparency and the Parliament's vote to release related documents to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police for thorough investigations. A green slush fund refers to a pool of government resources initially allocated for environmental initiatives to combat climate change, preserve ecosystems, and promote sustainable practices. However, this fund has attracted scrutiny over allegations of mismanagement and potential diversion for non-environment prompted by calls for transparency and accountability. Speculation grew that the Green Slush Fund was used more than just for environmental objectives. Concerns emerged about funds being channeled towards unrelated projects or benefiting specific groups without clear justification. Public demand for transparency intensified, leading to a broader outcry for detailed audits and accountability in government spending. Following Larry Brock's efforts in uncovering the Green Slush Fund controversy, the Canadian Parliament voted to release all documents related to the fund to the fund to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police for further investigation. This significant move highlights the Parliament's commitment to transparency and accountability in government spending. The Canadian public, eager to see action, has supported this decision robustly. The release of documents is seen as a critical step towards bringing transparency to government operations. Among other officials, Larry Brock has repeatedly emphasized the importance of transparent and open governance. The public demand for transparency continues to build as citizens want assurance that funds for environmental initiatives are appropriately managed and utilized. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police's investigation will delve into detailed financial records and management practices associated with the Green Slush Fund. Their focus will include identifying potential mismanagement or misuse of funds and ensuring that any instances of financial impropriety are brought to light. This investigation aims to restore public trust and reinforce the integrity of governmental environmental policies. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is central to the Green Slush Fund controversy. Accusations suggest that funds meant for environmental initiatives must be managed more transparently. Trudeau's role has raised questions about the government's commitment to proper fund allocation and integrity. While the Prime Minister has yet to make a detailed public statement regarding the specific allegations, the controversy adds to his administration's challenges around transparency. Several critical ministers within the Liberal government have also come under scrutiny. These include the Minister of Environment and Climate Change overseeing environmental funds and initiatives. The Minister of Finance's participation in fund allocation decisions is also crucial. Their roles are pivotal in investigating how these funds were diverted and ensuring that such issues do not recur. While Brock's constant efforts have led to a strict investigation of the Green Slush Fund controversy, Scoop Canada remains committed to providing unfiltered and timely news on Canadian political hot topics. Stay tuned as this story unfolds further. Larry Brock's tireless efforts drew national attention, leading to increased scrutiny in official investigations. Brock's extensive social media campaign and vocal demand for transparency pressured Parliament to release documents to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police for further investigation, demonstrating his commitment to governmental accountability. The revelation of the Green Slush Fund controversy has ignited significant public outrage across Canada. Citizens have expressed deep disappointment in the potential misuse of funds for environmental initiatives, leading to widespread calls for greater accountability and transparency. Significant protests and public forums have emerged, demanding that the government take urgent action to rectify the situation and ensure that similar issues do not recur. Media outlets have vigorously covered the Green Slush Fund controversy. Extensive reports have highlighted the alleged mismanagement and in-depth analyses of the government's handling of environmental funding. Major news channels and newspapers have scrutinized Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and relevant ministers questioning their roles and decisions. Substantial investigative journalism has brought new details to light, fueling ongoing public discourse. Social media platforms have played a crucial role in amplifying public reaction. Posts and tweets about the Green Slush Fund have gone viral, with hashtags calling for transparency and governmental reform trending widely. 
Citizens have used these platforms to share their views, engage in discussions, and organize collective actions. Influential figures and political commentators have joined the conversation, further driving the narrative. Larry Brock's detailed updates on Twitter have been instrumental in spreading information rapidly with notable engagement in his posts. By fostering widespread awareness and dialogue, social media has underscored the significant public demand for accountability in governance, particularly concerning environmental expenditures. The Green Slush Fund revelation has revealed the potential misuse of funds allocated for environmental initiatives. The fund meant to support green projects is now scrutinized for possible mismanagement. This raises serious concerns about the integrity and effectiveness of the government's environmental policies. Misallocated funds could mean that essential projects combating climate change and promoting sustainability are underfunded, undermining Canada's green agenda. The controversy has significantly impacted public trust in the government's commitment to environmental causes. When citizens learn that funds intended for sustainable development may have been misused, their confidence in green initiatives wanes. This erosion of trust can lead to reduced public support for future environmental programs and skepticism towards governmental declarations on climate actions and sustainability efforts. The public has given massive support to Larry Brock and other Conservative Party members for bringing in support for the investigation of green slush fund controversies. Massive outrage against Trudeau and the Liberal Party government can be seen as a result of the public sentiment being significantly hurt. Also, discover our exclusive collection of mugs, hoodies, and various daily accessories designed for Canadian Conservative Party supporters. Share your pride with our conservative-themed products at an affordable price. Enjoy free delivery across Canada. The situation underscores the urgent need for enhanced oversight and transparency in the allocation and management of environmental funds. The government must implement stricter auditing mechanisms to ensure funds are used as intended. Additionally, there should be a framework for regular public reporting on the status and outcomes of funded projects. This transparency is crucial for restoring public trust and ensuring environmental initiatives achieve their goals. Do take a minute to visit our website. Sign the petition demanding Justin Trudeau leave the office immediately and sign up for our newsletter to get uncensored news on Canadian politics. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. A robust auditing system can deter mismanagement or corruption and ensure that resources are dedicated to their rightful purpose. Establishing a framework for regular public reporting would necessitate periodic updates on the funds usage and the progress or success of associated projects. These reports should be accessible to the public and stakeholders and presented clearly and clearly. Implementing stringent auditing mechanisms and a transparent public reporting framework is imperative for fostering accountability and public trust. This structured approach will ensure that environmental funds are effectively managed and committed to achieving tangible environmental outcomes, thereby preserving ecosystems and promoting sustainable development.